Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love and life as it really is. It is indisputable now that the amount of men wanting marriage in the West, at least, has fallen drastically. For the amount of men never having been married has also increased, of course. Well, what happened and why did it happen? Well, to answer the question of why someone doesn't want something, you need to first look at, well, does it offer them anything or any benefit in any way at all? So what does modern marriage offer men today? Now, if we were to be honest, and from the experiences of many men so far, I would have to say, not much. Let's look at the marriage itself. In the old days, a man would go out and work and took care of his wife by being the provider and the protector. While women were at home and raised the kids, cooked and took care of the home, and in this way, she looked after her husband. Because of feminism, many women no longer expect or want a man to take care of them because they can do anything a man can do. So on the flip side, men, well, women assume they don't have to take care of men either. So you end up in a situation where no one takes care of anyone and well, why the hell marry then? That's a situation we've come to. Because what purpose will it serve them then? And if you have noticed, uh, married men nowadays are not held in the high esteem that they once were. Before they were admired and valued for being respected providers and protectors of the family. Now you see them in sitcoms and commercials portrayed as stupid while the wife is portrayed as smarter and more capable. So this is the message we are sending out to men, that their masculinity dies when they marry. But I guess the one thing that strikes the most fear into men is, what happens when things go wrong and divorce happens? They then stand to lose the most and almost always does. They lose their respect, their sex life, their money and assets, and of course their children. They are effectively risking at least half their savings, pension and property once the honeymoon period is over. Now knowing all this, I honestly cannot blame them for avoiding marriage, as the payoff is not worth the risk, especially since divorce rates are so high. So is marriage for men a lost cause then? Are they better off being single and is society and women to blame? Women, in listening to feminism and what is the in thing in popular culture, has largely forgotten how to be women. Political correctness and reality often does not align and no amount of social conditioning is going to override biology. And the reality is that the vast majority of men still prefer feminine women. So if women are not feminine, then they are attracting far fewer men to begin with. And society should get a large part of the blame in not respecting the institution of marriage enough and also not actually emphasizing what really is important in a marriage and a marriage partner. You have to admit, when the issue of marriage and getting married is discussed in popular culture, the emphasis is always on passionate love and fun and living for the moment. Nothing about commitment, duties of the partner, which I admit does not sound like fun, but it is reality and that is what is needed and is important for marriage to properly function and also go the distance. And also by emphasizing passion, they have given people the wrong criteria in how to choose long-term and marriage partners. The usual advice given and what we always hear is just pick whoever you like, whoever you have fun with, 
which in reality is basically no help at all. Sorry, but your advice means shit. That's right, we have not been taught how to properly choose our partners. For if you were to choose the right partner in the first place, then there will be no divorce, and if there is no divorce, then all the fallout that men fear from will not happen. Now both men and women are important. We need men as well as women. We need men and women to cooperate, to work together and also to marry each other. So please follow my channel for advice on marriage and how to choose the right partner. I'm sure going through my channel you can find lots of it already, but make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to be alerted to when my new videos get posted. And that's all, and uh, if you happen to enjoy the channel, then please like and share as well. Okay, that's all for this video, and until I see you in my next video, it's bye for now.